Stanford Men Hoops is another Bay Area team with a big game tonight. The Cardinal are in Southern Cal. They have a matchup with USC. That game's at 7 o'clock. Speaking of big, Stanford center Maxime Reno. The gamble on the big man is paying off big time. At seven foot one with a smooth stroke and the ability to put the ball on the deck, it's easy to see why Maxime Reno's tape alone was enough for Jared Haas to take a leap of faith. We were never able to see him live. It was during COVID. It was the recruiting was done uh, on Zoom and it was done on film. Reno was born and raised in Paris and in France. Collegiate basketball is not popular like it is in the States. Coming from a foreign country, I would say when we looked at American basketball, we first looked at the NBA and a little bit at the G League. International players dominating the NBA was usually a one-off up until the last decade or so. But in that last 10-year span, more and more overseas talent has infused the association Including French basketball players. I think guys like Tony Parker and Boris Joe like showed us the way. Um, it's possible for us to go to the league. It's possible for us to to play at a very high level. And I think that really like gave us the confidence and gave us also the opportunity because more and more clubs would invest more in basketballs, and so obviously like more guys turn to basketball instead of soccer. Reno was a former teammate with the world's top prospect, Victor Wimbenyama. He knows how good Victor is and also how competitive the Pac-12 is. So I had to ask, if the 7'2 Wimben Yama was in the conference right now, how many points would he score per night? How many minutes do you play him? 35 minutes a game. It's 35 minutes a game. I don't know, like some 25 points, 15 rebounds, 9 blocks. I've seen the guy do some amazing things. Like, sometime after practice, he would just like get five balls in the corner, make five threes in a right hand. Bring the five holes back, make five threes in our left hand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Reno is putting up big time numbers over his last 10 games, and those watching the Stanford Cardinal could be witnessing the journey of the next French basketball player to make it to the NBA. The first time I heard the national anthem from my country, I think that was the first time I realized, like, oh, I'm part of them. I'm part of the very best of my generation. I think he'll have a chance to play professionally because with his size and then with his, you know, God-given ability, his feet uh, in particular, um, there are not a lot of people in the world that, that kind of put all those things together. I asked Maxime what he would be doing if he wasn't playing basketball, and he said he was a really good swimmer back in the day. It's seven one. Wow. Those lanky arms wow. doing yeah. the backstroke. He was a, he was a big backstroker. That's way up there. <laughs> I wonder how fast he could swim being seven one. But I guess he. I don't know. Yeah. He said he was good. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Charlie.